In the movie Contact, the first contact was made when a signal appeared on a computer screen. But exactly how? Several supercomputers were tasked to perform the FFT algorithm on the incoming signals from a massive grid of antennas in the middle of nowhere. No other method would have detected the signal, which was buried in a galaxy of noise. Unimaginable by Fourier, today's scientists are hard at work to detect an alien signal, analyzing the frequency spectrum plots of signals received by various antennas across the globe. The analysis of a signal often requires studying its frequency spectrum to determine the components that compose the signal. FFT provides the tool to do exactly that. Fourier Transform, was developed in the late 18th century by Joseph Fourier. In 1965, the transform was optimized by an algorithm popularized by James Cooley of IBM and John Tuckey of Princeton. The algorithm became known as FFT. Most often in the spectrum analysis, a logarithmic scaling is used. It makes the presentation of the smaller components with respect to more dominant signals stronger. The logarithm was created independently by a Scottish tycoon, John Napier, and a Swiss clockmaker, Juist Bergy in the early 17th century. Note that the logarithm has no relation to the term algorithm. Logarithm is derived from the Greek words logos meaning ratio, and arithmos denoting number. And algorithm is derived from the Latin word for alchorism, the Persian mathematician who developed a method for solving quadratic equations around 880 AD. The logarithm is a mathematical operation corresponding to the inverse of the exponentiation. An algorithm is a step-by-step -step set of operations. Mathematically, Logarithms extract the exponent of a number with respect to a base. Originally logarithms were devised to simplify the mathematical calculation. A multiplication in a linear operation becomes an addition in a logarithmic operation. Logarithm eventually found its way into signal processing applications, as it offered a superior advantage to its counterpart, linear representation. To illustrate this advantage, let's consider major milestones in the history of Earth on two different timelines, a linear scale and a logarithmic scale. To show these events on a linear scale, one needs a scale with the size of the distance from Earth to the Moon. On a log scale however, a regular notepad would suffice. In signal analysis, consider the audio signal processing applications. The audible sound level for the human ear ranges from 20 micropascal to about 2000 pascal. To properly present this range linearly, a scale with a dynamic range of 100 million is required, that is impractical. This range can easily be shown on a log scale with a dynamic range of 8 bells. In the frequency spectrum of a signal, there is a wide range of components. Some are considerably smaller than others. On a linear scale, smaller components may seem insignificant and can visually be disregarded. On a log scale however, their presence is clear. According to the Fourier theorem, the building blocks of any function like a square, triangular, sawtooth, and any other random function is the addition of a number of sinusoidal waves with different frequencies, phase, and amplitude. The Fourier transform breaks up this composition and presents each component of the signal. That is to say, no matter how small or big the components of a signal are, they will show up in the ingredient list provided by the transformation. And the FFT, Fast Fourier Transform Algorithm, computes these components with a remarkable processing time efficiency. A digital-based spectrum analyzer performs the FFT operation on a signal like this square function and provides the variations of its amplitude with respect to frequency on a spectrum plot. In a spectrum plot, the horizontal axis is frequency in hertz and the vertical axis is the power of the signal, often expressed in dB. Note that dB, decibels, is a unitless ratio. Therefore, in spectral signal analysis, 
amplitudes are measured in relative dB units, dB ratios with respect to a reference. The reference is a level usually set at the top of the screen. Depending on the application, a variety of relative dB units are used in FFT spectral analysis. In many applications FFT offers a better alternative to time domain analysis. For example, using an oscilloscope, it is impossible to see the composition of this complex signal. On the spectrum plot however, all components of the signal are distinguishable. The frequency spectrum analysis is also a powerful tool to test electronic devices. A frequency spectrum plot can immediately expose signal distortion through various stages of a design. Consider observing a sine wave before and after passing through a buffer amplifier. Channel 1, the input of the buffer in yellow, appears identical to channel 2, the output of the buffer in blue, on an oscilloscope. However, the spectrum plot shows the distortion caused by the buffer. FFT mathematics and applications are involved subjects, and beyond the scope of a short tutorial. These days, most signals go nowhere without Fourier's blessing. And the knowledge without which today's way of life is unimaginable, is the result of hard work of scientists from past to present.